Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. You say, and I don't mean you yeah, personally, yeah, yeah. but you know, we can say things like, well, the West is not bearing sufficient responsibility for its colonial past. And so at some level, that kind of devolves down to the individual. It's so like, let, well, me, let me kind of rephrase it then. I think, you know, I think that's more of a left-wing criticism. It's like, you know, it's reparations and affirmative action yeah, programs. Also. Yeah. I'm not advocating any of that. And nor yeah. do I even believe in any yeah. of that, to be honest with you. Nor me. Yeah. So now, 200 years later and $14 trillion of wealth later, you have the situation in India. Y'all hear me? Where, for the first time in recorded history, you have a militant Hindu uprising that just, just came out of the blue, right? There's some something organic, right? This came like out of nowhere, <laughs> right? Because we believe that. We black, but we believe that just came out of nowhere, right? That the Hindus now all of a sudden they're Nazis and stuff, and that they're very uh astute with their Nazi rhetoric and, and everything like that. You know, killing Muslims and you know, like taking out their houses and all kind of craziness is happening in India. Okay? Madness. My wife sent me an article uh, two days ago or three days ago where 14 Hindus gang, gang uh, I'm not going to say the word on YouTube, gonna do, but you can imagine, they did something in a gang to a, a Muslim woman, killed her family and her, her Muslim friends, destroyed her house, okay? And the government, the Hindu government, basically Go after going through the, the the court systems, let them off with all that stuff. But now let's put this in a in an Islamic perspective. Okay, let's say for example, in a perfect world, there's a thing called justice. Okay, and these fourteen men killed this woman's husband, gang, you know, whatever, her, in front of her family and stuff, destroy her house. Now she got two routes, she can use right. In Islamic justice, what is it? Right? Either they kill the perpetrators, or she can demand what is known as as a diet. A diet. What is a diet? Does anybody know what a diet means? Somebody put it in in the chat, please. What is a diet? Does anybody know what it is? Y'all know what a diet is? Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all something. This is Sahih Bukhari. Thank you. Thank you. Blood money. An entire chapter of blood money in Sahih Bukhari. The thing that Muhammad just said he don't believe in. It's in our religion. The very thing he said he don't believe in. Think things that Muslims have been practicing since day one, okay? Blood money. Do you believe that this woman, she should be repaired for the damage that was done for her, done to her? That these people should be financially obligated to build back what they tore down? Do you believe that? Yes or no? Somebody put it in the chat, please. These 14 men in a perfect world, should they be financially obligated to aid this Muslim woman? If we don't believe in reparations like Muhammad Ijab said, then no need to give the Palestinians back their land, right? No need. These are the, you know, this is history. This is the sins of the past, you know? Let bygones be bygones and, you know, no no need to give the Palestinians back their land. No need to repair this woman for the damage that was done to her. No need to, you know, address the situation of the Uyghurs, you know, and them losing their land, their wealth, their money. No need to address that. We don't believe in reparations no more. We don't believe it. What he's saying is that he doesn't believe it concerning you. Paper gold. You see, black folks are chumps. If America were to tell you to bring all the rocks in this country to her and she'll give you a million dollars for it, you'll do it. And the next day she'll tell you we're using rocks for currencies, chump. <laughs> This is an Islamic concept. It has always been an Islamic concept.